Yes, we're back, baby. How are you, Ed? All good, baby. And today we have somebody uh, special, which, which has been actually happening lately. Uh, people that we talk about on the podcast. This guy always comes up. Coming in to, well, number one, he comes up all the time. And then now they want to come in and we're going to talk to them personally. Yes. And hash some things out. So today we got Harry and Michelle from, from Harry's, Harry's Smoking Empanadas. Dough. And smoking dough. Empanadas first, because that's... Wait, you know it's you empanada so? Harry's. Where's this Harry's empanada? empanada Harry's? He threw me off with just smoking dough. Listen, <laughs> my first Listen question, me. Listen I mean, me. not for nothing. The first thing I thought about was like, bro, I go to the store, I see Michelle grinding. Why is it only your name on the title? <laughs> the, the funny thing is that she came up with the it name. It was my <laughs> Okay, that's good. That's <laughs> first, I figured first, I'd feed his ego a little before bit Before the barbecue. That's a good wife. That's a good Before wife. the barbecue was Empanada Harry's. Empanada Harry's opened up seven years ago. Yeah. I know because I was there. I lived across the street. I had Guerrigo con Kiko on the air currently yes. at the time. And I said, bro, this kid, like, who is this guy? And then his handles was Wizard. And then he's making these empanadas way above what everybody else is doing. And I said, he's got to be the empanada Wizard and empanada Harry's. Then also, he's a trained chef. So he started doing barbecue. And then now it's like, what, more barbecue than, <laughs> than empanadas? Empanada the, Harry's. The barbecue is hey, getting hey, a little bit more attention. Yeah. But yeah, here yeah, they yeah. are. Here He brought you some, Ed. That's phenomenal. Check it out. And the reason that we have Michelle on today... And that we have a dual guest is because you go to Empanada Harry's, but you get Michelle. Yeah. yeah. 100%. And Michelle's better looking. She's nicer. <laughs> nah, but Harry's Sexier. good looking too. She's the but she's place. such no. a huge part of it. <laughs> she is. She is. I wanted to bring her on. So, guys, introduce yourselves. Thank you. Well, I'm Michelle. First and last. You got to say first and last. All right. So, I'm Michelle Coleman. This is Love of My Life. Who's this? Harry Coleman. <laughs> Harry and Coleman. And we own Harry's and Smoke and Yeah. That's, That's about right. us. That's Way about West Kendall. Way West. Remember like what Grant Naples. said. Okay, it's not in it's Naples. It's not Naples. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no. Okay. And people like but, that. Um, yeah. People like that. It's a Kendall block away from Braddock, so you know people that know Braddock High School. I grew up there, even though I went to the private schools in Westchester. I grew up in West Kendall. Um, my kids still live over there, and then Harry popped them to the neighborhood, and we finally got something in West Kendall that was of quality, and you could taste the love. Tell us about the success of Empanada Harry's, bro, because we've been talking about it, what, for a couple podcasts now? Yeah, so how did, like, how did you decide to start an Empanadas? I know we talked about it briefly at your store, but I think it would be good for the viewers to kind of give them a little feedback into your background as a journalist and then from there. Yeah, well, I mean, I grew up in the business. My dad opened Moises Bakery in 1991, which was at the time the first major Venezuelan bakery in yeah. Miami. Right. So I grew up in the industry. Um, my dad was the first one to have Venezuelan empanadas next to Chilean empanadas. My family is from Chile. I'm from Venezuela. Mm -hmm. uh, then they added uh, Argentine empanadas. And I grew up in the business. And then in college, Michelle and I started working together at Charlotte Baker, which was the other baker that my family owned. You should just have to get the job there, too? No, 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 no. We were no, we were to, we no. met in college. We met at, working at the FI newspaper uh, at the Beacon. Oh. Yeah. And then that's when we met each other and we started dating. And then he's like, hey, let's go make some extra money. And Michelle, how about we start working at the bakery? It was the first bakery job that I had. So you guys went in as a, as a couple? Yes. yes. Oh, shit. Yeah. And then when... Long story short, they're going to make a, a hotel where Charlotte Bakery is. So we're like, what are we going to do, right? And we had left journalism at this point. It, we, we graduated. It was a recession year, 2008. Correct. And we're... It was okay. rough. We were print journalists, And too, I was working so. for the Sun Center. I was covering the Dolphins. I was covering UM, FIU. I thought I had a job set. Sure. Yeah. And you know how the journalism world Yeah, is. yeah, I know. I just retired from it. it absolutely. It, 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 it's a tough world. And at the time with the Super recession, competitive. newspapers were dying. dying. The Sentinel was starting to cut content. And they're like, we love you, but there's no full-time job. So I told Michelle, well, you know, let's let's try to bring this bakery up, which we There's did. No money, no money. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but also really at the end of the day, I mean, I know that, I mean, Harry was also like a huge fan of sports, covering sports. My thing was more design, page design, the artistic side of it. And, uh, but I always saw how much he loved being in the kitchen. And I, it's funny you say that his Instagram, the wizard, you know, but a wizard, mine really became the wizard's muse because yeah. I felt like, he wanted to cook for me, and he was like excited about it. And he was in the kitchen, and I That's felt incredible. I felt like a passion there that I hadn't seen. And and I figured, you know what? Let's do it together, and let's hone in on that. And I love people, and I love it's in our commu my communication, yeah. you know. Yeah. And so I felt like it was a, a good team idea yeah. for us to go into it one hundred percent. Yeah, you guys are both uh, very um, energetic people. You know, you have uh, <laughs> sure, uh, she's got crazy personality. Yeah, I'm saying you go and there, I, but you get Michelle. <laughs> yeah, and I personally um, gravitate towards people with like high energy yeah. and things along those lines. Uh, you just mentioned something. Your your grandfather had his bakery, and it was the uh, first Venezuelan bakery. My dad. My dad. Oh, your dad. Yeah. dad okay. Yeah. Um, and I have a question for you. I know that each empanadas from countries are kind of like cooked differently. Right. Can you go into like the differences between a Venezuelan empanada, Argentinian empanada, 
Um, Colombian empanada. And the other one was... A Jamaican patty. No, no, no. Uh, you got to go with Chile. Chi uh, Chile. 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 So, Absolutely. What Chile. is the difference between those? That, like, that's, is it the way they cook it? Or how, what's the difference between that? It's All the doughs are different. And that's what makes what we do difficult. Is because you see, you know, Venezuelan place, great Venezuelan empanadas. Yeah, a Peruvian some, place, great Some Peruvian. different ones here. It's just like, but to do them all authentic under one roof and good, I think it's the hard part. Which is, even after we open, we haven't seen a bakery have... No, all the countries the way it's, it's, we have. So your difficult. bakery, sorry, I haven't eaten there yet. So your bakery has each country's empanadas. Correct. Yes. That's yeah, the concept bro. of yes. it. Okay, yes. I wasn't and, aware and of that. Our own and then our own twist. spinoffs. Yeah. Got you. Of just yeah. different. Some got have you. barbecue. Got you. Correct. Got you. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. Has to. So then, mm -hmm. like, so, like some empanadas are like I know they're baked from some countries. Others are fried. 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 Yeah. Like, Correct. what's like the difference between those? Well, the, the Venezuela has a corn flour. Okay. So that already makes it a little bit different. It's you know more sweeter, more corn flavor, and fried. And fried, oh, okay. yeah. And the Colombian one? The Colombian is a, it's a corn crispy dough. So that okay. one's different from the Venezuela because the corn is a little different mm -hmm. too. And that one's yellow corn Venezuela. We use white corn. And the Chilean are, are baked very similar to the it's Peruvian, crazy. but the Peruvian like a little powdered uh, sugar on top. Yeah. Yep. So it makes that a little sweeter with a little spicy inside. And then Argentine, obviously everybody you know knows that you know the meat, the chicken, the spinach. But we take those and do a truffle mac and cheese. Oof. Or, or do our they have empanadas for the month yeah. dates yeah so like cool. um, what would you say is like your favorite style more or less like coming from you I mean I grew up eating you know Chilean empanadas that was like our, our thing in the house mm. and you know we would make it with my dad and the whole thing but right now my favorite is the sweet bacon empanada we do is dates uh, three different cheese and bacon and, and for it. me that was my, my favorite empanada that we do at our shop yeah, yeah and I mean and those things really kind of started with things that we were making even at home like a lot of these creations and these things that we're putting into these little pockets of which love which one is this right here are things that we you know, that's the burger this is the burger and that's this one here that's the burger yeah that's wow. the ham and cheese which is this is the one I want you to try it That's incredible. This is another ham and cheese too, right? Yeah. This is incredible. <laughs> I, I can't. I, like, I wanted to like eat it after, but forget it. Oh, my God. Well, they're still warm. I know. <laughs> I know. And mm. then that one there is the Cuban sandwich oh. empanada. Oh. So everything that you have in a Cuban sandwich is in that empanada. So it's wow. super cool. You see cool. the difference in quality and flavor, bro? This is a pocket of love. Yeah. A <laughs> pocket <incredible>. of love. <laughs> and, and, the, and the Cuban empanada started as a wow. empanada of the month. Our first or second empanada of the month. Yeah. And then it did so well that we put it on the menu permanently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that one's one of our best sellers. It really is. And that Empanada Month, again, kind of gives us that freedom. Uh, I think as also, for us, also Harry being a chef, to really just kind of have fun with it. I think that if you don't have fun in this industry, you'll just you become taste, bitter. and, and You change the love too. in that. Yeah. Point. Yeah. And that, that maintains the passion. So, like, the next oh month God. is coming up. You need to create a, the Empanada Month. What's your thought process? What's that kind of like? So your... we open a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's always for the... <laughs> That's good. And then we take it from there. So it, it's going to be a, the Chicken Cordon Bleu this, this month. Nice. It's, it's going to be the Empanada Chicken Month. Chicken Cordon Bleu. And so we, you guys so, just like yeah. brainstorming together? Yeah. Just talking Look, and stuff? I, we did a Paella Negra Empanada Month. When we, I make Paella Negra at home. I go, you know what? I'm going to put this in the Empanada. And it was Bro. You wow. delicious. Dale. Yeah. Let's and, and, we, and, and she, you know, she says yes to everything. Yes, I'm a professional a enabler. No, that's good. Yeah, so. And I think that it's a good and also very dangerous combination between the two of us. Yeah, because then you never stop. Yeah, exactly. Next, next, She next. Says yes. Yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah. we do it. Man, that's yeah. good. Yeah. The Philly is fire, too. I've had the yeah. Philly. Yeah. Like a yes. Philly. Oh, my God. Like that, that was another one for another month yeah. that became a permanent rotation. Yeah. We did like a dim sum one once. I mean, just like really cool things, stuff with black garlic. You know, have fun with it. So you started with the banana Harry's and then you ended up with smoking dough. Yeah. What yeah, was how like, the that... transition behind that? You know, how'd that happen? That was also over a bottle of wine. That one might have been over two or three, <laughs> yeah. but it's fine. So we always did barbecue on the weekends since since we you know started dating back in 2006. Mm -hmm. We started doing uh, barbecue. I wanted to show her, you know, I had a little Weber smoker and show you what I got, baby. He wanted yeah. to show me his meat, <laughs> <laughs> and I said okay. <laughs> and she loved it. <laughs> oh, hey, easy. Hey, well, hey. Eagles always asking, show me your smoker. <laughs> <laughs> show me your smoker. So um, we're like, you know, we're, we're, we started doing this, our barbecue pop-ups in 2019. So there wasn't too much barbecue then. There was, you know, the traditional shorties and then Homestead, you had the, you know, the great classic place there. And we were like, hey, we need to do something. Yeah. But something for the area. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I'm not from Texas. I'm not from Carolina. So I'm mm -hmm. not going to go and open a place that says something that I'm not. Yeah. yeah. We are Miami. Miami people have been yeah. here since I was four years old. The, the culture of Miami, the Hispanic, the, you know, the, the, all the, the melting pot of what we have yes, here. So we're like, if we're going to do barbecue, 
it has to be our way and we need to try to create something more Miami than the traditional, you know, yeah. American staple. But without being a gimmick. Right. I think that that was very important to us as we were going through the concept, as we were kind of coming up with menu ideas and what we were going to do was, okay, we're going to do this Miami style barbecue. We're going to do it right. We're going to do it our way, but we're also not going to let it be a gimmick. Gotcha. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, you want to be authentic. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No. Did you or did you not invent the cafecito rub? <laughs> <laughs> you could go back to 2019. Instagram, cafecito rub brisket is there. 2019. People say, <laughs> who's Harry to say... He invented cafecito rub. I didn't invent when it's been going on for a while. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see cafecito rub in a. Um, That's the first time I saw, I saw it on a menu. coffee rub. The first yeah. time coffee. I saw it on yes. a menu was espresso rub. Espresso rub, maybe. Espresso. The coffee has been an ingredient in cooking. I for never saw a cafecito years. rub yeah. until Harry. But some people do coffee ribs, and uh, <laughs> and I'm just wondering where it started. <laughs> Harry says he did. So check 2019. Go ahead in the comments <laughs> and find out and see who is exactly the coffee rub. By the way, they're amazing. Um, another coffee ribs are uh, at Apocalypse. Good. And they're good. Jeff was here. And I think Harry and Jeff have to go eat at each other's places. Yeah. So I was well, gonna I, I've tried this barbecue. Yeah, it's good. Look, yeah. We did our research. When yeah. we opened, when we were about to open Smoke and Dough, I went to eat barbecue with Michelle. I remember that. Everywhere. 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 Well, I, and, and, and not, not just, just locally. I mean, yeah. like we I think we had everywhere. several smoker conversations. Yeah. <laughs> we went to Texas, Kansas City, Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma Kansas. Yeah, the Carolinas. I mean, um, if, we wanted to make sure we we're going to do something good. And then we also tried everybody locally because you want to make sure. Of course. And at the we're time, at, people at when the we opened the at the time yeah. for me, uh, hometown was this. I saw hometown as one level ahead of everybody at the time. Oh. That was the one, yeah. 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 And, uh, you know, a great chef, great concept from New mm. York. Yeah. And then I said, you know, I go to Michelle, we could do our brisket as good or better than that. Yeah. Got something. We, okay. we got something going. And, and that, for me, uh, was, you know, what we were trying to Yeah, to and then I think this good. the story goes back to that, where that he was from New York. And so, again, that whole barbecue concept is more of a Southern concept. And so yeah. here's this guy from New York coming down, doing something super cool. And we were like, that's, that's what, what we're we trying to do. Yeah. do I was going to ask you there, like, what is the art of smoking a meat? Like, if you can kind of, you know, peel behind the scenes a little bit. Like, how do you prep the meat? How many hours typically... Because I've tried to do it. My buddies have tried to do it. We have the Traeger, and it, it doesn't come out the same, you Look, know, like this, a, a restaurant. We, we get people all the time that yes. tell you they do a good brisket at home. Yeah, yes, absolutely. I think the, I mean, for one, in this city, which I think is going to rare, you really do have to have patience with it. You cannot yeah, rush be. through any of the process, because okay. if you do, you will taste it. In the for sure. 100%. You cannot hide that. So that's number one, I think. And everybody could do one good brisket. Because mm -hmm. right? I get guys, oh, I do a great brisket. Try doing 30 at a time. Well, it's hard. Yeah. And the same, like I told you before we started, the consistency of yeah. the empanadas and of the right. barbecue, it's always the same thing. And it's his version, like you said. Some oh. of them's got mole in it. Yeah. Others got coffee in it. I think also, I mean, the silver lining, you know, to a really kind of really crappy time in everybody's life was the pandemic. Yeah. And we were really, really able to go through all of our recipes. Yeah, Every weekend we had, you know, those bars, smoke and dough pop-ups there at the restaurant. People were coming out and what it was awesome. It we was were able well. fast side up, fast side down. What paper do we get? Do you know what I mean? Like it was just we like, experimented oh, what what we, we got? like it was and it was like again a silver and, lining. And during the so we did barbecue the first Sunday, you know, when everything shut down, like March eighteenth or whatever it was, mm. that first Sunday we started doing barbecue every Sunday. Yeah. And we had already done our pop-ups at the Empanada Harry yeah. shop. Yeah. And okay. then it stopped obviously because they would have everything dinners. stopped. Yeah. We yeah. Had I, I would go to and I would tend to and it would be barbecue. It was amazing. Yeah. And, and you taste the barbecue from then to now and it's way better now. It's yeah. You know, we, we were growing. We were growing and we were testing. And then, so we did every Sunday from March to October. Michelle and I would sleep at the shop because somebody had to watch the Because the, yeah, the, 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 the pits the, were wow. outside because we didn't have obviously our kitchen and, just yet. And barbecue kept, believe it or not, Empana Harry's afloat. So Incredible. we were seeing our sales, but I, you know, people weren't dining out. People yeah. were picking up yeah. very little, it you know, was the end of the world. And then, <laughs> so, so we did barbecue like and, and, did. and the lines would reach the Walgreens in the shopping center. No way. And that's when, you know, we're like, okay, so we're, this, we're onto something. We're onto something, we're onto something well, and they, we need to continue. And they gave us the option to opt out of the contract of our space next door. Like, they, you know, yeah. I think at this point, a lot of owners, you know, uh, landlords were not, were giving people the opportunity mm. to just step out. Yeah. And when we saw the reaction, I think we asked her, like, can we get a sign that this is what we're supposed to do? And then when yeah. the lines were, you know, filling up, we were like, okay. And the scary part, Gigo, you, you know how this is. You, you spoke to Georgie the other day on the, on the podcast. It's just, we have no investors. It's just 
It's, it's just, just us. us. Yeah. We put our house on the line yeah. to open Empanada yeah. Harry's. Mortgage, so, we maxed every credit So if Empanada Harry's failed, we lost the house, we lost the business, we yeah. lost everything. Everything it had to work. But I remember year one being there and said, this is so good, you're gonna, this wall's got to come. Yeah, he knows. It's got to expand. Remember I told you. But we yeah. expanded with something else. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> we we expanded expand. with barbecue. <laughs> no, but what I was saying, just space-wise, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what's up next door? I remember saying it, you yeah. know? And then, um, you savage. No, that area, you got to expand. Yeah, It's above, you know, medium households, and there's a lot of residential there. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's, great. it's a great area. It's a great area. And one of the pioneers of our area, it, you know, I always credit Finca was yep. one of the first ones to yeah. open. And they opened yeah. doors to say, hey, people want to dine out. And they want to do something cool. Then Mr. and Mrs. Bunn opened, you know, yep. another great stop. And then when we came yeah. up with Empana Harry's, we felt that the area started yeah. to, it was nice to grow. It was good. It, was, it wasn't good chain. Cluster. It wasn't chain. You didn't chain. have to just was... always go to Wynwood. Yeah. Oh, or, eat, or eat at, you know, Chili's. Yeah. Correct. 100%. <laughs> now, now that you're, now, now, so, you, so, you, so you transitioned into the barbecue world, right? Um, obviously, I know you. You like what you do. Uh, would you have like three honorable mentions that go beyond? Like that, you look away and you're like, you know what? Those guys are doing good things. I like how. They, now that you told us that you've tried everything in right. the city. Before before he answers that, is your Dino beef rib more than fifty dollars? Yes, but it comes with mofongo. How many ounces is the beef rib? Big one. Yeah, the, 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 the big one, big and, beefy it, one. And, and you get like half a pile of mofongo up in there. Nobody's so. got it under fifty. Go ahead. Yeah. What were you gonna say? <laughs> Yeah, so um, who would you say are your honorable mentions? Like that you see other barbecue places, that you say, look, they're doing a good job, or they're on the rise, or and like empanadas after. Put you on the spot. Look with 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 barbecue. I think everybody. I think it's cool that Miami's becoming a barbecue town. Oh, I love right? it. Yeah. I, I love that. I think the more friendly competition, the better. Yeah. Is it? Do you want to be the best in town? Of course you do. When we open the empanadas, I want to have the best empanadas yeah. in town. For barbecue, it's the same thing. And I think everybody has their niche, and everybody's doing. Um, something good. They're doing Different. them. Yeah. They're yeah. doing them. Yeah. Yeah. So who would you say are your three that you respect that you see and you're like, you know what, those people well, I respect. Look, I respect everybody. That's doing <laughs> you got to answer. He ain't gonna <laughs> you let that go. That you got to know what show you think you're on, bro. Who are your, your top three barbecue? This ain't fucking yours. CNN. Beyond bro. yours. Who Answer your the three. goddamn question, no. Harry. Okay. Look, we don't eat out too much barbecue. All right, we don't eat out too much barbecue. I don't know if it's like just the Leo in us. We're like, I got the best. No, no, but we're, that's fine. But besides your guys, who would you say? Like, I'll I'll take this one. I'll take this one. Michelle, who would you say? You know what? I like what these Michelle, people are doing too. You know, I give these people respect. Okay, so well, I guess maybe I'm going back. We used to really love Q. Okay, Q was, somebody, yeah, 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 somebody mentioned that Q's very good. Great, and obviously now, you know, Q, Q, Q back in the day, Q and Swine were yeah, Swine was another f- place f- for f- us. F- they had like and, amazing burnt yeah. ends. Like that was that. Those were kind of things that maybe even inspired us at some point. Yeah, and hometown has this really good uh, bacon yes. pork belly they do that we yeah. love. So and yeah. hometown's but, another thing. And but, and, it, and but it, we don't need too much meat out. You know, like like I love um, Carl from Hey Mondays and he's okay, doing, good. He's yeah. doing some cool. I like him too. Carl, he wants to come on. Yeah, yeah. Dying to he'll come be good. He'll be good. He, he does some Cigar. some cool tomahawk stuff. Like that guy has his own thing going on, and, and he's a cool guy. And, and I think he's doing. So you would say Q, hometown, and Hey Mondays. Would yes. be like the ones that you see from afar. You're like, I like what they're doing. You know, yeah, I respect look, what they're and, doing. And, and Apocalypse is doing cool stuff too. You're like, like yeah, I don't know. Like, no. like, like they're doing cool things. The 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 difference is, I always say, we are chef driven Miami barbecue. And when you try your brisket, you're gonna try the difference. Um, his brisket's good. It's a little peppery, more Texas. Yeah. So it's a little different. So, but obviously with the lines that he has and and what's going on, like everybody's doing. Cool stuff and their own thing. Numbers and, don't lie, though, right? Numbers don't lie. And, and and I think that it's important for Miami to now taste the differences in all these places. And, and we, I think that's true. Yeah, yeah, I think that's true. And I just realized that we have barbecue wars going on. So we have croqueta yeah, wars, we have Harry's, bakery I wars. Having Harry, but he's and, a fucking politician now. And, and, like, yeah, what he, the fuck he's, happened? He's trained. He would tell he's me, "Hey, bro, fuck that place. It's trash." <laughs> now it's like, well, he but got, listen, you know, due to my background, where you gotta be now? Fucking hey, Michelle coached him in the car. But going to that point, I had an interesting conversation with Harry that night, which it's a hot topic, and it always is, right? You have told me that you're very proud of one thing that you've yeah. done, okay? And that one thing is you've never paid an influencer never. to go to your restaurant and give you a review and post about it. Thank you. Now, as an actual journalist, I know that that to you means even more. Tell me a little bit about how the scene, the marketing scene, how social media has enhanced your business and how yeah. the effects you had on that and how you see, like, the foodies and influencers uh, amongst the community. Now, why is Michelle in charge of everything? <laughs> well, because, you know, I'm so smart. No. Um, okay. I think that it goes back like what you were saying about us being journalism major because, you know, that is a huge part, I think, of who we were as in the core. And we are part of that old school mentality of the Carlos Rios and the Michael Mayos where they're going to go out 
unannounced. They're going to eat your food. They're going to critique you. You're going to pray to God that they like it. Yeah. So that way they can give you a good review. Which no and longer exists. That it's, is... It's changing. It is Correct. changing. But then there's things like the New York Times, where we came out in the 50 places they were most excited about in the U.S., and that was unannounced. And that, for us, I think gave us more... Um, credibility. Credibility. And, and that, I think, at least as far as the people that we are... Look, it matters. I don't want to have to pay you two thousand dollars to say I have the best barbecue in town. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I I see them go. Steph, to I think we'll back <laughs> Look, us up. I but. see them go to other places and say that, and I got the email the week before too. Like, hey, do you want me to go out and say you're the best barbecue in town? So I don't feel that I have to do that, and. But even and I'm not saying it's wrong. Yeah. It's just the way the world is changing. And there's look, Mr. East three hundred five, great guy. He comes to our place. Yeah, he's during the pandemic. He was supporting us all the time. And he's, you know, we haven't paid him, but yeah. he's a, but he's a great supporter. So, so there's some that great. there's yeah. some that you could really trust yeah. that you know that these guys Correct. are, yeah. Do they get paid in some places? Of course they do, but they also do their top ten or top yeah. fifteen. Yeah, yeah. They still I have stay never true been to paid by him. And they stay true. No, you heard I, that, Seth. Yeah, yeah, I think what happens is Seth had a good point of this. If you get paid, which is fine, you know, you're monetizing and you I know you're, you're putting in work and everything cool. I think you should say it. And also too, that's more advertising. Correct. You know, it's like an advertorial. Yeah. You, can't for us. Really like you, you. you can't really oh, say you're a food critic if you're getting paid no, for something. I don't something. think none of them do. But I, I don't think, think that's what their what goal is. is. Yeah, exactly. The advertising their product. Yeah, Correct. they're advertising your product, which is phenomenal because Correct. it actually helps businesses. It helps it them and it helps it the does. community. It does. It, it does. does. It, it is now, effective. Now, there is a respect that we give to people like Seth, and I'll tell you why. He came out with his top 25 list, and you were on it, right? And I religiously started visiting these places because yeah. I took his word for it and I told mm. Kiko about it. And it was not only like, oh, I want to go check it out. because Once you had a conversation, it was an itch Correct. to see, like, is this guy really what right. he says he is, yeah. you know? And are these burgers really that good? And it was actually refreshing. Yeah, nobody believes me. Just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> they think I'm on the take. They think Harry's <laughs> funneling cash to oh, me. Yeah. Because Never... When I say I'm on Harry's, some no. idiot said, some it, idiot said no. oh, I wonder, I, yeah. wonder, I wonder he's paying him. I'll tell you right Remember, I commented, yeah. I wish was no. that I was getting a fucking check. If Kiko was and getting I have paid to pay for... $39.99 for an empanada. <laughs> <laughs> Drop one of the nines, okay? Oh, man. One they're fucking expensive. <laughs> yeah, right. No, but you know what I'm saying? Like what he said. Um, he just wants. He's a real chef, so he wants that real gratification of somebody who really yeah. knows. What and I and I think that's 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 actually and, pretty. But at the same time, don't dog it because it works. You know what I'm saying? I, no, exactly. for other other customers but that's in clientele. I'm saying that when I say what we feel, that doesn't mean yeah. that it's not a great. Like I understand, and I mean, look, we do. We run our own Instagram, and and we have fun with it. Yeah, and we do videos. And you we run the photos. Instagram. We yeah. do. Yeah, and, and we I have great relationships with Harry. with these guys. They so come good in. job. Yeah. <laughs> They, they, they come into our place and, and they eat and we see them and we say hi. That's you cool. Know, like it's, it's great because, man, it what they nice. do is not easy. <laughs> like, so, like uh, all so, that editing is not no. easy. So I'm going to put Kiko on the hot seat now. You have these barbecues here. If you want to explain to them. Oh, yeah. Tell them because I right use now. these. <laughs> Sponsored by Smoking Joe <laughs> Harris, where I don't get a dollar and I still talk about it. <laughs> it. <laughs> so it's fire. So, so you so have nice. these, these here. and um, should say Waiawa, but whatever. Guava ancho. And then we have another guava ketchup from Burger Beast. So between this and Burger Beast sauce, no, this one I don't care. I don't care. Burger Beast, this sauce is better. Although Burger Beast sauce on a frita is top notch. Yeah. But this one, because I barbecue more, that's only. But this ancho bro flavor and shit, it's 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 um, unbelievable, unbelievable. Better and than, the bottling is in the middle. Is this better than ah, Flanagan's yes. barbecue sauce? Yeah, bro. bro come on, bro. respect Harry. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> chef. Listen, talking about all this stuff that goes on in your lives, um, our kids kind of grew up together. Yeah. Um, you guys have a huge. An amazing family base. How do you like ha handle working all the time, not only in a restaurant but in a barbecue restaurant where you have to be there at night <laughs> more than during the day, and manage school and everything? Like, 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 what do you guys do? Oh, Clone each yeah. other? Like, how, how does it happen? Like a, no, we just our kids are our cleaning staff. No, I think. <laughs> I think as a, no, no. I think as like a husband and wife working together is also sometimes could be difficult. Some people don't see you, that. Possible. They work together mm -hmm. and they have to raise children together. Yeah, yeah. And, and everything. So everything. Like, so it's twenty four seven. Yeah, it's, it's not for everybody, but for us, it's awesome. Yeah, and you know we oh, love man. each other. We work together. Don't you want to make out with Harry? <laughs> we work together at FIU in the newspaper. We yeah. took classes together. Yeah. We got married. We got into work. So we, and we we're actually, used to it. And we actually both come from parents that work together. That's awesome. So we grew up, I think, kind of seeing like mom and dad as a unit yeah. and working together. So psychologically, I think that that's, yeah. that's kind of cool. And so we grew up seeing that and then, and then us going. And again, it's about respecting each other. I think sometimes people forget that even though you're a husband and you're a wife, 
I need to respect him and he needs to respect me because at the end of the day, we're also business partners. Yeah. And so I think I that when that. you can learn to do that and, and do it um, correctly, it's, I mean, it's perfect. But finding that balance is not, is not easy, you know? It took us a while, but, I think. But it does. I think yeah, now it, it it's like... Easy. And when she gets upset with me, she goes, stay in the kitchen, don't yeah. come out, and, yeah. and I'll do How that. How is that? You guys ever get hot at each other? Yeah, yeah. I mean, not hot, hot, but yeah. Not, yeah, no, do no, we no. disagree on some stuff yet? Yeah, but for the most part, luckily... You just say sorry and move on? No, that's not who he Look, is. Look, Harry's, Harry's Saluda. Everybody <laughs> thinks Harry's nice. <laughs> hey, he's such a great... Yeah, I know Harry gets hot. No, no. no. No, but Start I mean, throwing dough back there at each other, huh? <laughs> There's a reason that I have all the wine up front in the front mm. of the house. And, no, I'm just kidding. But um, no, 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 it's not. And I do think that be, we work together, but that also where that the kitchen is his and then the front yeah. of house is mine. Totally, because right. like I said so, earlier, you go to Harry's, but you get Michelle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get me saying. So, and the kids, they so, like it. When it, kids are interested in maybe the kitchen. They love it. They, they love it. Yeah, one likes to attend. The other one likes to be in the kitchen. Yeah. So we're seeing. And luckily yeah. our kids are. Man, they're good kids. They are. They really do. They come they in. Are. They want to help the staff. They want to help customers. They'll start cleaning. They they're, were. They're very they were spotted present. at South Beach yeah. Food and Wine, right? Yeah. Working. Child labor. <laughs> so, so you guys went into a community out in West Kendall. What would you say are like, you know, I, I know you guys pitch mom and pop, mom and pop, mom and pop shop all the time. Mm -hmm. What would you say are like the challenges that like, you know, running a mom and pop shop brings along? Ooh, everything. Everything. <laughs> well, I think it's because it's all on our shoulders. There's nobody to ever be like, hey, that's now your problem. Yeah. It yeah. is always our problem. And we have a staff right now of 20. So Really? 20. 20 was like three of them. Yeah. And that so dude, you have that big 20. guy in the back. Oh, my, my yeah. sous chef. He's amazing. He's, he's, yeah. oh, he's, he's an egg. He's, right. he's been with me since he was 17. Yeah. What was his name again? Uh, Enrique. Enrique. And Enrique. he went to culinary wow. school. Yeah. And, you know, then came back and continued, you know. With Fair us enough. and growing, and he's, yeah. he's amazing. Like, and that's important, that our team is important. And, yeah. and, and, you know? and when we say chef-driven barbecue, and, you know, that's like what we, what we preach as our difference is that, you know, we want the tapas, the desserts, the size, it tastes as good as the barbecue. Because sometimes you can go to Texas even. It's great barbecue, great True. meats, good and point. sometimes the sides are a little. We want to make sure everything has it. We have chefs, you know, that have work. Uh, at Yardbird, you know, at Zuma, like, uh, at Juvia, at like we've had open, people that have yeah. worked in, in, yeah. in, in Michael's Genuine. And they're, yeah. and and they're, they and they're excited, working for us. And they get yeah. excited to come in and see something different. And we get excited that they're excited. And, and then it goes back to that whole, like, we're wanting to create this experience for our diners. It's like, no, we take reservations. Wow, that's incredible. Do you know what I mean? I like the idea of a couple coming in and the girl has her heels on. She has her pretty dress on, yeah. her lipstick on. And, you have a nice, and she like, could come of... in and sh their table is ready. That's awesome. It's ready to go. How do you feel that that your business has impacted that local community there, like that West Kendall community? Bro, it, it keeps that shopping mall. Nobody goes to that shopping mall before they got there. <laughs> yeah, nobody. And things have gone and come and and gone. And one of us, a matter of fact, is named Gina's, which is a little ballet place that opened up. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gina's. And yes. Every time I pass by there, yeah. but he's been the anchor of that shopping mall. And then yeah. they opened up a little bulb next to them. Well, uh, you're, you're seeing more and more in the whole area in general, people yeah. opening up businesses. They're not so scared anymore, right? Because, you you know, we don't get too much tourism. We get some from the Everglades. Yeah, yeah we do. We have West, yeah. Well, after the times, we, the New York Times, we had gotten people from, like, Dubai, Thailand, at that first initial. And you, that right, was you guys, they get cool. an increase after the article? Yeah. Oh, huge. That was, really? It's that we found out about the article when we got 100 reservations within 10 minutes. Wow. Yeah. You know? More than when my segment aired on the air. <laughs> <laughs> And, 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 <laughs> and people from all over the world. So that was yeah. crazy. But, but going back to the local restaurants, I'm, I'm so happy that uh, more and more people are opening the area. Oh, yeah, yeah it's good. Is the yeah. pastrami worth all the work, Harry? Because uh, you're the only one that it's, it's, features it's, our it's, smoked pastrami. It's what I'm most proud of that we do because it takes eight days. So, oh, yeah. eight I'm sorry. Days, so I have uh, two last questions. One of them is for Kiko and then one of them is for you. Mm -hmm. uh, here it comes. Here it comes. I'll finish for you. I'll, I'll do yours for me from my end. Buckle up. What are your, right now, top three selling empanadas in your store? Ooh, Top Michelle three. would be good for that one. Okay. Um, well, one, the empanada of the month, always, because people are always excited about Curious it. Curious, too. So, always. That one is always at the top of the list when I get all my reports. Empanada of the month, empanada of the month. Yeah. Phenomenal. Solid two, or even maybe sometimes one, is the ham and cheese. <laughs> that ham and cheese Big push by it. Seth. Yeah. No, it but, uh, kills it. <laughs> no, that's, that's, no, that's no, the that's sandwich. sandwich. Oh, a sandwich. The ham and Empanada. cheese sandwich. Ham Don't gym. order it. That was it. delicious. <laughs> go old. for the pastrami, whatever <laughs> burger he says. Um, and then I want to go with the number three. Man, I think it's the guava and goat cheese. Yeah. yeah that that's one, her favorite. That's, yeah. That's and the favorite. Philly, the Philly does good up there? 
that little you know, steak that, thing you, know you had, or is it just like once? Between twenty-five it's not always, different it's empanadas always. at a time. Yeah, I mean, so it's, the numbers, believe it or not, will will they'll challenge each other, and from week to week. And a real tequeño, bro. By the way, <laughs> thank you. Oh, it's it's that has a lot of cheese. Real quick, we had John over here the other day. Croquetas, talk mm. to me. What are the ones you're eating? I don't care your top three. Which ones are you eating when you go out? Well, well, I grew up in Nueva Yeah, I know, but not from you guys. You guys can't. You guys, uh, you got out of bed. You know who always has an amazing croqueta? The masa people. Oh, yes. masa yes. yeah, We had them every there. croqueta those people yes. do. I tried Absolutely. their brisket one at Apocalypse. Yes. Uh, yes. they, they had a little collab. Every was... croqueta they do is is freaking is phenomenal. Really those yeah. are what would say my you know my, my favorite. Damn, yeah, the masa get in love all the yeah. time. But you gotta yeah. cut a check, though. Yeah. <laughs> what? They, they pay me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> No. I'm, and I'm Harry's on the take. No. Bro, but how many times have people mentioned that? Yeah. Give me one okay. more, Harry. Uh, you have another one that I'm you like? Thinking, a lot? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh, I'm, you, you know which ones I love that we that, that Michelle like I love for my birthday? You know, because you know I got I gotta watch. Oh, I know myself. what he's gonna say. <laughs> Luis Galindo. <laughs> I get the tamal and the croquetas. Where the hell is that? Uh, the Latin American from Rafael. <laughs> but, Luis Luis Gal- but it has to be a Luis Galindo oh, one. All right. I don't know. Dude, <laughs> I love. That's my guilty I pleasure that's his, that I yeah, want. I From, yeah. It just brings pleasure. me back these memories with the tamal and the, the yeah, freaking croqueta. I, I love those. I what do you got for me, bro? All right. So when I I, I had the opportunity to visit uh, Harry Smoking, though, we had a great time. Thanks to who, bro? Friends. Thanks to Kiko. That's right. And I want my wife out there. No cash. And in my conversation <laughs> with. Harry, he tells me that on a personal level, you had told him he was the number one barbecue spot. But when <clears> I asked you here in the podcast last time, you told me Apocalypse is number one. So I know that your your spots change. I don't want to pick up the okay, spot like that. I know clear. that it changes. But give me cool. no, no. I want you to tell me what do you like about each, and what is the difference between each? What is it that you like about each? Harry's here. Harry's my favorite barbecue. <laughs> when <laughs> Jeff's here, Apocalypse is my favorite barbecue. Now. They uh, they're right there for me. There's things that I like Harry's more than I like at Jeff's, and there's a couple things at Jeff's that maybe I like more. Than what Harry. are those things though? So we can kind of like get get a little bit more into Kiko's you're head. You're a dick for real. What's bro. your favorite brisket? Fuck. Give me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is your... Harry's brisket right now. I think is is a little bit. I like it a little bit more. So that's the, the go to for Harry's. You're going for the brisket. If you're going to Apocalypse, what are you going for? Um, I think I I like his ribs. The ribs are good. Yeah, ribs I like are his really ribs. Good. I like the way they present them. They do fall off the bone a little bit more than I like, but they're so unctuous and good. Harry's are too. But I, I would probably give a little nod to got you. To, but that's fucking straight up. No, I know, I know. Good. Listen, nothing given. I no, is it isn't is the beauty? It's but that but competition. Of but the, no, hey, listen, he's my boy. I'm actually doing a show with him in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, but, but the thing is with him, like he eats out and he really like no, but judges all, the they're food. All, they're yeah. all my brothers. You know, no, what I'm saying? I know, so I know. it's like yeah. that makes it I, I'm, my whole life has been helping people. But um, I see what this guy does with the briskets and the pastrami game is untouchable. Yeah. And I know how, that's why I ask him, is pastrami even worth it? But I mean, look, I see you like yeah. eight, out, eight days to fucking for a product. Get, but it don't wow. make sense. So, and then I tried that. And then he has the brisket on that, uh, that ancho uh, that sauce. What's that sauce? The, the, you like the mole sauce. Yeah, yeah. The mole, mole sauce, sauce, which is completely fucking taboo anywhere. Yeah. That's Texas. So that was Oaxaca, no? But, yeah. so Oaxaca, you yeah. Oaxaca, but yeah. I, I was with them on the Oaxaca trip through the stories. Oh, wow. <laughs> Saw how that all came about. And then when you try it, it's a banger, bro. Yeah. And, and so goes, I'm going to have to give a little nod to that just a little bit. But then the homie with the ribs and they do fall apart a little bit more than I would like because they're super soft, but they're just amazing. And, and the, the, the brisket, the bacon brisket right now, I think is probably my... But isn't 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 that beautiful though? How we're talking about Miami barbecue? Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, I don't give a that, fuck. You guys like, are both out yeah. selling barbecue to everybody, so yeah. Like, the lines are there. When, I mean, when forget what we, I say. When were we talking about Miami barbecue before? Actually, I had, a, I had a question. Everybody was like, we went to yeah. Texas. I had, been I had a question, and it was just curiosity. You have been mentioned uh, several times here in mm-hmm. in several podcasts, both with Gigo and and Seth. Let Did you ever thing. see anybody come in and like mention like, hey, I saw you guys here. Did that ever happen? Or Yeah, of course. What people, do you mean? Like, like, the, the, like customers, right? The customers yeah. come into a store and say, hey, I saw you guys here. They talked about it here. Yeah, of course. That's for his ego. <laughs> no, it's to see like if this see, works, you know? Working. Like if you yeah. guys are watching them going, you know, like. Yeah. Listen, the way I can tell this is there, the bar, my two favorite barbecues right now are, are, are Apocalypse and Harry's. Just go and try them and do your own little thing like how we do. Yeah. And I do little so rating scores I, I in between my table. And, 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 what do look, you think? I'll, I'll say something out here. I don't understand why we have to pick one or the other. You don't. Because 
you don't go to an Italian restaurant and go, oh, these are the top three. You, go, you enjoy your Italian restaurant sure, sure. here. So, yeah. so I, I think that it's just awesome that we're talking about Miami barbecue. Oh, yeah. We and do I, it to I start think, shit, but we support I think support the real all winner is Miami here. 100%. Right? Yeah. And, and, that's and the community. Like, exactly. The com- exactly. And then we're making our like, mark. Trying to get your products better and better yeah. and better because yeah. a, friendly, a friendly competition. You know what we're going to do. I think Miami gets a lot of crap that... Uh, about that, about the restaurant scene, and oh, Listen, yeah, Miami, no, no, no. About everything. Listen, and we started this because, yeah, of this, and we know. did. You know, we have, we do. I do have a shoot with Jeff in the next couple of weeks, bro. Let's do the shoot and go to Harry's for yeah. barbecue with Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we should we get a meet. This, yeah, and then have, uh, and no then vice intended. versa. They can have a meet off, bro, and then have vice <laughs> versa. And I promise you that, bro, he'll have lines out the door for both spots. <laughs> yeah. Imagine so, you guys doing a collaborated, no. like, bro. ribs or brisket, bro. That would be insane. And, and, I, and hey, I, you wouldn't be able to sleep, okay? There, there's yeah. some parallels that have... been so busy, you'd be insane. Look, every, everybody that... Well, like you said, bro, it's all love. Bro. It's all love. And everybody that knows him tells me he's a great guy. And I know he had a heart scare. Uh, not a heart scare. He had a... Cancer scare. Some cancer scare. And I had a heart scare. You so, want to tell so, people what happened to you? Because you oh, can't just say that. No, well, um, I mean, I almost died at 37. Wow. So, um, Fucking bananas, bro. That's your life. <laughs> Um, it was right before opening smoking Dole with the stress. I gotta eat something you know, here. And what happened to you? Um, 100% blocked the uh, Widowmaker. So you had a heart attack. I had a heart attack. And, Jeez. Um, Where out of the store? In, in the no, middle of the ocean. Middle of the ocean. <laughs> oh my god. In the middle, in middle of the ocean. Middle of the ocean. Right. Just the two of us in uh, Sanibel Island. But you know the between God and, and Michelle. Oh my god. Baby. It wasn't my time. And uh, happy to be here. Yeah, so and you didn't no, have any like sign, no symptoms before. Nothing, just nothing. it was. Uh, we the, were going through a, a very stressful. It was stressful the stress. Period. I think between all of the stuff happening with COVID, then finally COVID, and then we did the build out, which was of smoke and dough, which was, again, going back to where that that whole true mom and pop. It's all on us. You know, the permitting, the money was going and going and going. And then we're like, oh, my to, God. To open Smoke and Dough, at one was, point, we went over 300000 wow. yeah. And then we went up to close to 400000 And then it was And like, that's oh when, God. you know. It's no investment. And it's, it's scary. It's, and it's, so I think that. And Harry's the type of person that really just kind of, like, he just takes it all upon himself, I think, yeah. sometimes. And sometimes I wish I could just, like. Oh, that's just, mad like, shit. I applaud lift, that, Primo. I applaud you that. You know? And, and so you're good. You're back. You're healthy. Yes. You got uh, yeah, yeah. you got your trainer. and uh, like, Life changes after. Like, the, your, the perspective your life changes. Life. You learn how to appreciate. Yeah. Things, oh, yeah. And, that's and, what I told um, you, bro, when we have an instance. You know, you, you, you had your eye situation. Yeah. And, and sometimes, unfortunately, you shouldn't wait till something bad happens. Yeah. To, to learn to, how to just. To, to change yourself, yeah, right? Yeah, and, and, I, and I think um, I should have handled stress better. Yeah, because you're not in a you're not in bad shape. You're in good shape. Yeah, it's but... It's funny that happened. That's well, crazy. Well, there, there is heart disease in my family. Oh, okay. So um, that didn't help, and then the stress didn't help. But... Um, but you're good now. But, you're chilling. But you take it and you learn. Back. I'm happy to be here for my kids and... Smiling. Yeah. I mean, no, you have great important. empanadas. Yeah. 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 <laughs> great empanadas, great barbecue. Great and barbecue. it go- goes back to that whole thing, like where you were saying when we were in Oaxaca. We travel now. Yeah. Yeah. We go and like... Just well, and to, to, to close out, one of my friends, I play basketball every Saturday or Sunday uh, in the park. Do you play? Because I just see you playing video. <laughs> I see you shooting video. Do you yeah, no, play? I play? You do? Okay. And then um, one of my buddies says, what's that place you went to yesterday? And that was on, I was saying Saturday morning. I was, like, oh, I was smoking there. He goes, man, that looks so good. And he ended up going. You nice. see, oh, where's nice. my check, bro? Where's my check? <laughs> he ended up going. You were he, influenced. You're like, there. And he, and, see, uh, and he called me after. He goes, bro, great recommendation. That's goes, awesome. Really That's good. Great. Bro, it's easy when it's that yeah. good, bro. I get, yeah. you know. It was impressive. Listen, anything for the future you want to plug before we get out of here? No, people always ask us what's next. Are you opening somewhere that's not so far west is what everybody always yeah. asks me. Um, no, we're... We're Staying very, put. Very we love our area, and, and it's and it's not just you know fake, but like I said, we have no investors, and the moment we open somewhere else and try to do something, yeah, we we separate each other, yeah. and that's when you lose the, the love. The, the magic. It's kind of selfish though, a little bit, don't you think? To dissipate, and I. What about think everybody in South me. Miami? What about <laughs> people in the Grove, and they can't eat hair? They gotta drive. We we drive. We love oh, drive. We love Cindy Lou. I I go all the way to her place to get the best cookies. That's in right. And I, uh, I'm not asking right. Cindy Lou to come down to you know. All right, so. Harry, calm down. <laughs> So you you if you like something you drive and, and yeah you know yeah. which is why and I it makes a nice trip out of it too. Yeah. Bro, this is my you know? family. Yeah. I, my kids grew up together. They've, we've grown. We have both had our brands grow together. Yeah, we have photos with our kids. Please, when, please, when please yeah. go and see these guys. Ask for Michelle, not Harry, because he'll probably be in the back. <laughs> yeah, and try it and see it. You get empanadas and barbecue, bro. I want to thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Thank I you. appreciate it. And for fe- this, this, feeding my, is, my homie yeah, there. Thank you. This, thank is, this you. is awesome what you guys yeah, are yeah. doing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I thank you. It, right? And Seth, your, his sauce is better than yours. <laughs> We're out. Wow. <laughs>